drum map for Beatscape and put it in a step sequencer so it's a lot easier uh, for those that may not have a pad control uh, or uh, any type of MIDI controller. So uh, this is just a brief tutorial on to make it easier um, to literally make beats wherever you go. Learn to create a drum map, put it in a step sequencer, and it's easier to program and whatnot. Um, I know some people gave me, hit me up and had a hard time because they're not good uh, drummers or programmers, you know, using pad controls or MIDI controllers with uh, drum pads on them. You know, hey, it's all good, man. We're just here to make music, and I'm here to help you out. So uh, listen up. And okay, first go. things first, you just call up a uh, um, normal template. That's what I do, unless you've got one um, designed for you guys. You know, people make their own templates. I have my own, but we're just going to start from scratch. Um, obviously, go to the synth rack. Um, to call up Beatscape. You know, just click OK. You know, and here's Beatscape right here. Um, then next, we'll create a drum map right off the bat. So you just want to minimize your Beatscape. Go over to your MIDI track. Let me zoom in here just a little bit for you guys. You guys see that? You know, you go in right here. I'm going to move the camera down too. And it says new drum map. You know, they got a whole bunch, man. So you just find a blank one or go to the drum map manager. Um, I always create a, a blank one already. So when it goes to, like, I can just hit drum map and then it has a blank one. Um, but this is the same deal. Okay. And then we plug in our notes, which I will show you. Okay. And before we do that, let me bounce back call up the Beatscape um, uh, display again and let me just let you guys know something if you look down to the left um, you'll see the keys right over here the first 16 notes of Beatscape starts at note number 36 and also C3 um, that was a big question that I had on Kate Walk you know like you know if I had a 30 you know 7 uh, note keyboard or 49 well, where the hell do I start um, then the trigger that's the trigger to 16 pads uh, the audio slices are mapped to MIDI notes starting at E4 and to note number 52 on the channels corresponding pad number okay so you kinda wanna uh, branch them out you kinda know where it says slice triggers you know it starts uh, there and you know obviously the first 16 notes um, is note number 36 so that's kind of self-explanatory I thought you guys would know um, it should be on the screen here shortly anyway I'll be writing it up here uh, when I edit this video so uh, I just wanted to bring that up for right now since I got the drum map up uh, we will just kick out I don't know seven notes just to give you an example um, Sometimes you guys can pick whatever. I picked uh, No Mercy, um, and I just transferred uh, the individual instruments over into the pads. Uh, let me move this. As you guys can see, there's eight of them. Um, of course, this is the combo. There it is right there. But I will show you how you can trigger um, just and create songs differently, remixing, in other words. Um, I keep all the pad settings off to the side the same um, later in the next tutorials I'll teach you guys how to actually break those down and um, you know like autoplay what's the function of that manual manual play stuff like that so I can break that down but in the meantime um, we're just gonna uh, bring up the drum maps and like I said before the out notes start at 36 and you keep moving, 37, you know, 38. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me zoom in here. There you go. And then just keep moving down, 39, 40, 41, oh, 741, 41, 
and whatnot. Um, then you want to come over here on your out port. I got the Ultralight MK3, but no, we want to switch it to Beatscape. Um, you can do this all the way down. You can hold, uh, I think it's Shift or Control and then um, Alt and then adjust the Beatscape and it'll change them all. But since I'm only going seven channels, whoopee-doo. Uh, 